Hi friends, once again back to biologyexamsorry.com. In the last video we discussed about the difference between C3 cycle and C4 cycle. Now we are going to discuss about the difference between C4 cycle and CAM cycle. Both are adaptations to live in dry hot conditions. First of all, starting with why C3, C4 and CAM. The most important point is all plants makes glucose by C3 cycle or Calvin cycle. Even though it is a C4 plant or a CAM plant, this is just a deviated pathway or an adaptation or to reduce photorespiration and transpiration. Calvin cycle is a cyclic reaction that is involved in the synthesis of glucose from carbon dioxide with the use of ATP and NADPH that is synthesized during light dependent reaction of photosynthesis. But a C4 pathway is an adaptation to survive in dry habitats for two reasons to reduce transpiration and photorespiration thereby increasing photosynthetic efficiency and survival capacity whereas cam pathway it's also called as crassulation acid metabolism cycle it's an adaptation to live in desert condition this was first discovered in the members of family crassulaceae that's why called as cam pathway or cam cycle and this is the cactus plant Difference number one, that is the mechanism of C4 and CAM plants. In C4 plants, carbon dioxide combines with phosphoenol pyruvate in the presence of enzyme PEP carboxylase forming oxaloacetate. It's a four carbon compound, that's why it's called a C4 cycle. And this occurs in the mesophyll cell. This is initial carbon dioxide fixation, and that is converted to malate, and that is transported to bundle sheet cells where malate is decarboxylated carbon dioxide is released and that will enter the calvin cycle and this is further regenerated into phosphoenol pyruvate therefore initial carbon dioxide fixation occurs in mesophyll cell whereas calvin cycle takes place inside bundle sheet cells both are separated in space in two locations this ensures continuous supply of carbon dioxide inside bundle sheet cells and Calvin cycle and Rupisco will not be inhibited by the presence of oxygen in the bundle sheet cells. So therefore high concentration of carbon dioxide always maintained inside the bundle sheet cells ensures minimum photorespiration or complete absence of photorespiration. Whereas in the case of camp plants, initial carbon dioxide fixation occurs during night and Calvin cycle occurs during daytime. At night, stomata opens and receives carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide just like C4 pathway is converted to oxaloacetate and that is converted to malate and this malate is stored in the vacuole. So during daytime, there is extreme high temperature. Therefore, if stomata is open, water will lose by transpiration. So stomata remain closed. So for Calvin cycle, this malic acid that is stored in the vacuole is taken out and that is decarboxylated and carbon dioxide is released and that carbon dioxide will run the Calvin cycle even though the stomata is closed. So initial carbon dioxide fixation and Calvin cycle is separated in time. It occurs in mesophyll cell that is a single type of cells but at two times at night and during daytime. So there is high carbon dioxide concentration that ensures Calvin cycle without the effect of photorespiration and water loss by transpiration is completely avoided. So these are the similarities in both cycle. The first stable compound is a C4 compound oxaloacetate and phosphoenol pyruvate is a primary carbon dioxide acceptor that combines with carbon dioxide forming oxaloacetate which is a C4 compound and the enzyme in initial carbon dioxide fixation is PEP carboxylase. Now moving into the second difference that is regarding occurrence. C4 plants examples include maize, sorghum, sugarcane, millets, etc. These plants can grow well in high temperature, high sunlight condition that is close to 40 degrees Celsius where the water availability is low, uh, approximately 900 species. The adaptation is primarily to reduce photorespiration. Majority are monocots and accounts nearly 3% of all plants. Whereas CAM pathway is shown by plants that is living in desert condition, very hot condition, above 40 degrees Celsius, where water is very deficient or scarce. 
Examples include pineapple, cacti, agave, orchid, etc. Approximately 20,000 species in about 40 families accounts nearly 8% of all land plants and majority are succulents as water conservation is very important. Difference number 3 that is regarding leaf anatomy. In the case of C4 plants, there is a special type of anatomy which is called as Kranz anatomy. Vascular bundle is surrounded by bundle sheet cells with chloroplast that is further surrounded by mesophyll cells with chloroplast. As bundle sheet cells is the site of dark reaction or Calvin cycle, this chloroplast has grana which is poorly developed whereas mesophyll cells are with grana, well developed grana as it is a site of light reaction. So there is dimorphic chloroplast. And stomata is photoactive that depends on light intensity, high light intensity induces closure of stomata. Whereas in the case of camp plants, the anatomy is almost similar to that of C3 plants. There is no Kranz anatomy. Both initial carbon dioxide fixation and Calvin cycle occurs in mesophyll cells. And the stomata is cotoactive. It opens during night time to receive carbon dioxide and closes during daytime that will avoid transpiration. Difference number four that is regarding photosynthetic efficiency and photorespiration. In the case of C4 plants, photorespiration is absent or completely suppressed and there is high photosynthetic yield compared to C3 plants. But for the transport of these acids from mesophyll cell to bundle sheet cells, ATP is used. 30 ATP molecules are required for the synthesis of one glucose molecule compared to 18 ATPs in C3 cycle. But still, photorespiration, a menace, is avoided. Whereas in the case of camp plants, these plants are designed to live in desert condition. Photorespiration is completely absent or suppressed. Transpiration rate is very much reduced or completely avoided as stomata opens only at night to receive carbon dioxide. And that's it. You are with biologyexamsorry.com. Thank you so much for your support.